Okay. Okay. I just want to, I wanted to make sure we were all in the right room. Um, it's really the important part. So first of all, thank you to uh, Michael Livingston here, Dr. Michael Livingston, for joining us here and agreeing to do this interview. It looks like that's what I'm drinking. Sorry. That's... <laughs> I, I assumed you were just here for a good time. Uh, it was starting that way, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> hi, everybody. It's so... God, there's so many of you. It's awesome. Thank you. Yes. So we're here to learn a little bit more about Origins. Uh, show of hands, how many people have read Origins? <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. I was like, how spoilery do we need to... Oh, okay, cool. We're good. Um, we'll still try and avoid big spoilers from it, but... Yeah, I won't talk about that thing on 125. Yeah. Wait, everybody go to your book on page 125. Okay. Um, See what's on 125? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm real tempted now. Yeah. Um, so we'll do, we have some prepared questions, and then um, we're going to throw it out to you guys for audience questions, if you guys have anything. Um, so yeah, just to get things going. Oh, I'm James. Um, I'm James Stark, the uh, Wheel of Time track director. Oh, thank you. That's a weird round of applause, but thank you. Um, yes, I, I do Watt stuff here. Way to direct, man. I know. I'm so great at directing. Way to direct. Um, all right. So to start things off, how do you even approach writing something like Origins? Uh, it's a great question. Um, you know, and, and, and looking out at y'all, I can see that some of you already do know how this starts. You start with a mustache. Um, <laughs> You guys, <laughs> thank you, thank you. It, the, the mustache was a joke for COVID, and now I have to keep it on. It's so, it's so problematic. Uh, my wife's like, you can get rid of it? I can't, sorry. Um, so, <laughs> so that's where we are with that. Um, yeah, no, how, how do you start? It, it, I, first, you start with astonishment that you're doing it, right? right. You know, this is this is this is not something that, um, you, you know, that I that I thought would kind of be happening. Even when the idea sort of was was percolating, um, I didn't know that I would be well allowed to do it, right? You know, it, it you you want you want to hope, right? <laughs> like that'd be really cool, yeah. Uh, but until you're signing on the dotting line, you kind of you kind of can't believe it. And then from there on out, it's it's the process of research, and the the amount of material is uh, uh, big. I don't know how many of you have have been in the archives at all, uh, but it is a lot of material, um, and that that took a a lot of time uh, to go through, and and just to get you know get one's head around it. <clears throat> I had a plan for what the book was going to be. That's not the book you have, um, as as. You know, Robert Davis, who's my, my editor in the front row up here. You guys owe him for this book existing. Because um, it, uh, uh, if, if, if not for him, you know, we wouldn't have a contract. And so we would not have a book. Um, yeah, that, it, it, it changed over time, you know, based on what, what I found uh, and, and, you know, how it was all coming together. So it was a, it was a long process, um, but one I was just fortunate to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. I think in any... It's a fever dream until it starts happening, and then it becomes just a fever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was yeah. a lot of sleepless nights at a certain point <laughs> yeah. uh, to hit deadline. Yeah. Um, so you did mention the archives. A lot of majority of the information came from the Rigney papers, boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes yes. of stuff. Yes. Um, ranging from very mundane things to kind of extraordinary things. Um, what was it like sorting through all of that and? How did you know you had found something or when you opened a box and you're like, it was just wall. Scared something over there. Um, yeah, it, it, it was, uh, I was really fortunate. It was being written in the middle of the pandemic. And, and I was really fortunate that to be given carte blanche. Um, they just said, look, here's the archive. Uh, you are, for those of you who do go to the archive, you are not allowed to take photographs. You are not allowed to like, nothing leaves there. No information leaves there without the permission of the estate. Uh, and if you've been doing otherwise, stop, uh, stop because otherwise it will get locked down. Uh, so, so they, because it was pandemic said here, you know, like take, take photos, do whatever you need, whatever you need to make this happen. And 
that helped a great deal because it enabled me to uh, to deal with some of this kind of a digital way to help figure out timing, uh, how how the material came up. It's not most of it's not dated. Um, it is just sort of piles and piles of stuff, and I had to create all that in order to to deal with it. As a researcher, I'm kind of in my life. It's what I do. And one of the first things you got to know is like, what do I have? Like, what are the dates of this material? How was it? How did it come about? Um, and that process alone took a lot of time, and and it was uh, it was it was not. Um, you had to check your your fandom, right? Like at, at the door, right? Because otherwise, I would never get anything done. Right. You know, I mean, when 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 you when you see and you know you've seen like some of these uh, you know, pieces of paper, and it's like I'm holding the oldest piece of paper in the Wheel of Time. recorded what they are uh in case that would come up but but yeah you know you're like well that's that is so mundane and so like that's not what the book's about god that's cool though you know and and <laughs> so you just you have to kind of separate to get a story ultimately right i mean you know the book is needs to be a story at some degree so yeah yeah did you have any fanboy moments where you were like okay i have access to all of this i need to know this now before i can even begin oh god yeah it when I when I the first day, um, I had I had a uh, a to do list. You had to, every time I went in the archive. What's my to do list? Um, and yeah, my first day was very uh, prioritized <laughs> about what I wanted to see, uh, the the boxes, the folders I wanted to see, uh, and the number one thing, at least for me, was I I want to see the first draft of the Eye of the World. Mm -hmm. um, Part of that obviously is kind of like where I come from as a fan, like you know what that meant to me, you know, which I talked about in the origins of the Wheel of Time, um, and and so that was like priority one, like get, I want I want the first draft, uh, and I'm going to read the first draft and and start kind of getting my head around process from that. So that was the first thing for me, and it was fanboy, right, to um, to read it, like that's different, um, <laughs> like that's that's not. What? Um, which is again in the book. One one of those things is in the book. Uh, for those of you, no, yeah, no, I I can't imagine where I would begin. So the fact that you knew something that you wanted to do was I, very good. Yeah, I mean, but you know, obviously, you know, as you're as you're writing it, you're learning what the book's going to be, right? And you're learning like how how you're going to put it together. So um, 
so yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a game plan, but obviously the game plan changed as I was working on the book and realizing what it's going to be. You know, you have to be flexible about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Aside from the, all the rigging papers, what other resources were you able to use? I mean, utilize Team Jordan. Um, yeah. Yeah. How we're, annoying were you for Maria? And, and, uh, uh, Harry and, well, Maria is not here, so I was a saint. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, that is that's, on the record. Is on the record. Um, she was like, "When can I talk to you again?" I was, <laughs> I was like, "Maria, like, I, you know, give me a little bit, you know, to come up with another question." And she was like, "No, but really, um, <laughs> it was." I, I was incredibly fortunate, and, and here again, you know, shout out to, to to Robert. I I had access to anybody I needed, um, and and I mean, yeah, truly, I had a question for anybody. I had I had an answer to that. Um, you know, I, I was able to to talk with uh, uh, with Tom Doherty for, I mean, how long? Did, like a two hour time? I mean, like two hours. Like this guy, one of the most powerful people in publishing, and I was just like, we're just going to talk, right? And I had a list. But this is the stuff I want answered. Um, and you know, going through the list, but also was like, hey, now that I got you here, also this, also this, and he was absolutely happy to keep talking, and um, you know, and and. It went through so many different hands uh, before it came to you, right? You know, I've, I've gone over it. Um, I've got all my stuff. Then it goes to Maria. Then it goes to Harriet. And then it goes to, to Tor, right? Like so many. And at no point in any of that was it, we don't want you to say that. It wasn't, it wasn't gatekeeping, like trying to protect something. It was like, Oh, there's this other piece of information, right? Oh, I recall a conversation. Um, oh, there's, you know, there's, there's this scrap that, you know, is in the files at, at Tor, right? That's not in the Rigney archive or whatever. Like, oh my God, yeah, can I see that? Um, it was that kind of thing. It was, it just, it wasn't, I just really want to be clear about that because that can sound like it's all these hands preventing something from happening. Instead, it's, it's all facilitating. Um, nobody was ever like, we don't want you saying certain things or whatever. It was like, no, you're writing the book, man. What can we do to make it be what it needs to be? Um, and that is incredible. I mean, it really was. So I had access to all these people. Um, there, there are materials that are not um, public. Um, I had all that information. So I, I mean, I think I got everything. I mean, I, I don't, I, yeah, if there's stuff that I don't have. That's on, that's on me, but also on all of them for not. <laughs> and again, Maria's Correct. not here. Maria's so. not, it's her fault. No, I. Was there anything that you were kind of looking to include that there just wasn't quite enough evidence to back it up? I know a couple of times you mentioned Ishmael's fortress, um, <sighs> like when you were redoing the map, like you were pretty sure of where that was. Yeah. You could have put it on there, but it wasn't quite enough. Was there anything else on, not just the map, but in the book in general, where you were like, yeah, it could go in there? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, point on the map. Just, <laughs> just, just Second draw part of the right. Uh, yeah, so there were, there were a lot of things that, um, you know, I didn't feel like, like I know for sure. Um, I think you know. I think I, I, I said in an interview. I don't remember if it was here last year, or I, I've been on so many interviews since this came out. Uh, I said some like ninety percent or something like mm -hmm. that was kind of my mark, right? Of of I feel like I'm ninety percent correct. Yeah, there were all high of that. Um, are there are honestly things now that make that mark? Okay. Um, so there is stuff that I would that if I was doing it now would be in there. Um, and those things are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the revised and expanded edition. I mean, if, you know, like, um, <laughs> my editor's right here, so if you could make promises. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I mean, there's like, like there's an entry on men, um, you know, everybody's like, where's the entry on men? I, I wasn't ready. I mean, by the time it was like, this is the book is due. Mike, you have to turn it in. Uh, men was not ready. 
um, mm -hmm. it's it's ready now. Like I, yeah. you know, I mean, and it's cleared by Harriet. Everybody, it's like I have that. Um, and there's you know, <laughs> money. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with that kind of material, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, will yeah. be something like that. Will be, yeah. I mean, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But but yeah, there is. Uh, you know, there's a tranche of new entries that I could put in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there continues to be other material that, um, you know, that, that could be added in as as appendices or whatever. Um, it'd, be, it'd be it'd be it'd be fun. I mean, you know, we'll see. But yeah, okay. there was no, absolutely. there was there was stuff that yeah, like now would probably be in there, but but just wasn't ready to be there. I don't think I don't think a Shamiel's fortress would probably be in that material. I felt like so. Here's a, here's the story with the Shamiel's Fortress. Okay, um, there's I'm triangulating from material, if that makes sense. Is there's not there's not a map like like I didn't follow some like national treasure <laughs> thing, right? And like I is broke that, it. I is broke that not in. what researching is? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, I mean, for my medieval stuff, sure. Oh, okay. But yeah, this is. Uh, you know, because you got to go to the Templar Church, you yeah. know, and there's a trap, and you're gonna go over to the. Um, so yeah, there, for that, there's not a note so much as there's like, look, I know what I know what he's doing this with. Like, I know how he's building this. I know how he's built. It's it's just like so much of the you know the backstory, like before the book starts. And it's like I I know a whole bunch of that stuff. Not necessarily because there's there's a specified note, but because you know with X, Y, and Z, well, that adds up to this, right? Uh, and I just wasn't comfortable. Um, I like making that real, I guess. I don't know. It's just a, a, a funny line there. No, I like it. Um, one of the things that is ever present in the Wheel of Time are just the concept of binaries. Um, men, women, Sidar, Sidin. Um, you do address that in the book, which I found very meaningful. Um, and you did mention a couple of times how the series was intended to be a correction of the injustices that Jordan saw in the world. Right. Uh, well, um, binary cosmology of the world, something that you were looking to address when writing origins, or was that something that you kind of stumbled upon and then needed to include? Um, it's a great question. Great question. Um, it was not in the original plan. Okay. So, you know, when I was originally setting up to write the book, and, and part of that is because, all right, I keep popping this thing. Um, and part of that is because it, it, you know, the original plan kind of wasn't, it wasn't going to be quite in this form. Um, but even that, I, it wasn't something I thought, you know, oh, I need to, like, that's something I need to address. But in the course of writing the book, I think I was actually, oh gosh, Robert, do you remember? I think we'd already gone through a full draft when I added that, that in. That section on binaries, I'm not sure. No, it had already gone through Harriet. Yes, and then I expanded it uh, because I I was actually going. I was doing a read through, and I was like, "This needs to be said uh, and needs to be expanded upon." So I'm going to do it. Like it was just, it was. I want to say it was like some like epiphany or whatever. Like it was just like this needs to be done. This is a good time to do it. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, I was I was uh, I'm, I'm 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 glad it's in there. If, you know, if, that, if it's good for people, um, uh, it was it's in there. Yeah, Ho right. hopefully I did it okay. You did. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> I speak for anybody, everybody. Yes, you did. Um, <laughs> I know God. you're free. You're I don't have to leave. All right. No, I mean as a I got my award, I'll leave. I, you know what? Yeah, I guess I don't. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting an award. I'm still like, oh, embarrassed. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, speaking of binaries in the Wheel of Time, um, I would be remiss if I didn't ask a selfish question and talk about like you know gayness in the Wheel of Time. Um, in Robert Jordan's Aes Sedai notes, which seen somewhere, it's mentioned that between one third and one half of all Aes Sedai are either gay or mainly bisexual to one degree or another. Um, and that the proportions of gay women to heterosexual among Aes Sedai is roughly the same as it is in the general population. 
for me, I've always taken that just to mean that like half the world's gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just wondering, you know, was there anything else in there that expanded upon that? Or was that just one of those like late night, a little bit of whiskey thoughts that Jordan had? <laughs> um, there were some of those. I that. mean, <laughs> uh, there were some of I, those. I, I'm like, yeah, what? I read it a few times. I'm like, no, that's what that said. Uh, well, like, I haven't done a head count, so I'm, I don't know that I can really... gone through all 2,700? And... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gone the, uh, done the count of the population. Uh, there's not... There, there wasn't a great deal more than that, okay. is what I would say. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of the answer I was expecting, but... Yeah, I yeah. Didn't... No, it's worth the ask. Yeah. No, I just figured there's, you know, this giant little file that says all the gay stuff in the Wheel of Time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my well-thought-out <laughs> notes on homosexuality. <laughs> on just everything. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would, <laughs> that would be so awesome. Was there um, was there a file on spanking? Or... <laughs> no comment. Okay. <laughs> no, I think that's fair. Um, <laughs> what was the most like surprising thing that you found when you're going to the archives? Uh, as a fan or as a researcher, actually, that depends. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, as a researcher, it was it was the uh, the piece of paper that's in the books, uh, that earliest piece of, that has the the friggin' like skeleton key on it, because there was one of those things like I went in with with notes where I'm because I've been thinking about this for a while and and all that, and so it was like this is what I, I think. Uh, see if I can find evidence. <laughs> Like it's just a loose leaf. A pile of stuff. I'm just like, that's yeah, not useful. That's interesting. No. Grocery list. No. Piece of paper. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> like oh, whoa. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It was just such like a, I was like, touchdown, but you're in an archive and you got to be cool. Um, I want to get kicked out for, uh, it came that close to a squee. I mean, <laughs> it was, it was right there. Some people know what I'm talking about. Uh, it was it was pretty exciting. That as a yeah, as a researcher, that blew me away because I just I did not expect to see it so black and white. You know, like I'm like kind of I got to put this puzzle together. Nope, there it is. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> I'll just skip ahead. Um, so yeah, as a fan, oh man, as a fan, the men scene. Oh, See, I was, I had that in there when I was researching, or when I, we were talking about the panel. You know, it's like I think people know about the men scene. It's not surprising, and I'm like, that's fit. There is a scene where in Barillon, men seduces Rand in a barn, and they. <laughs> and by the way, it's not the barn that I'm. <laughs> And then he thinks that they need to get married. And it's cute and adorable. And for me, I read that and I said, that's not the men that I know. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it just like, uh-huh. Uh, you know, like, uh, oh, oh, oh. Right, you know, like, it's, oh, my, oh, my. You know, like, that was, uh, yeah, that as a fan was just, I just wasn't, and part of it was like, I, there, I knew kind of, roughly that this existed or whatever it just I, my head was not there or whatever right so i was just in the kind of scanning like what's changed da, 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 you know okay all right make no Wah! and it just i had a moment i had a moment and then i was like i forget it i'm gonna make everybody else have that moment uh, it was like, less fade to black than most of the other <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um, yeah I was like, oh, okay, that train's gonna go through the tunnel apparently. Um, yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> he was still he was still figuring out how to fade to black. Yeah. So, so yeah, then I put it. I was like, can I, put, can I put this in the book? I want other people to have this fun, and I did. And they said, yeah. Again, this one, they said, like, I was like, there's there's no way they'll let me put that in the book. Right. And I. The the way this works is I write everything up and I send it to to Harriet, and then she, okay's or you know whatever, and and I was, can I. I wrote, I'm like, there's no way. She's going to say no. She's going to say no. She's like, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, there's some squeeing involved there. Yeah, go ahead. No, I love it. Hey, oh. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming to this panel. This has been great. Um, you can go now. You guys. No. All right. So in Origins, um, Jordan's been described as saying that it's like a mix match of cultures. You shake everything up. There were, it's obvious that he was inspired by a lot of mythology, stories, um, that he kind of blended together. As someone also very well versed in, you know, mythology, folklore, history, are there any references that you were expecting to find that he drew from and there just wasn't any evidence of it? Oh, that's a great question, man. God, you're full of good questions. I know. Get get this man a job interviewing people. This is great. <laughs> it's okay. I've only read the book a few times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I you know I thought there was anything I was shocked by its uh, by its not being there. There were there were things that shocked me to be there. Right. Um, you know that I that I I sort of didn't you know I was like oh my god you put that in there like. Where did you get that? Um, that stuff surprised me, but it was, I mean, it felt pretty clear where, where a lot of stuff came from that I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't anticipate finding something and fail to find it, I guess. You know, okay. Like, yeah. Um, circling back a little bit, um, are you okay if we talk about the TV show just a tiny bit? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you spoke a little bit in Origins about how you think the story might be done differently today. Yes. Um, and there have been a few changes in the TV show. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. Just a couple. <laughs> just a couple. It's all good, guys. Come on. Um, like Egwene and Nani being added as Tafirin. Um, you know, just general changes that are big changes to the world. Do they feel like natural evolutions, or are there any that strike you as kind of odd not this isn't being streamed this part we're cutting yeah <laughs> <laughs> um no i mean the 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 things that bother some people about the tv show don't bother me at all i i i mean casting is amazing uh you know some of the some of the decisions i'm like i see why you did that right for for story purposes you know it's the same thing um you know lord of the rings or whatever right you know like you you got to cut tom bombadil like i'm sorry like it's like when i when i when i teach when i teach like Bombadil is everything. What Bombadil is in in Tolkien mind, like it's so much, the movie you got to cut it. Like, and then, and that's you know if you can't sort of disambiguate those two things. Like you're never going to work in Hollywood, right? So I'm fine. Okay, those changes, sure. Um, the only things that bothered me, honestly, were just like the military stuff, where I was like, that's not how you do that fight. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like just for crying out loud. I'm right here. Talk to me. Um, <laughs> I might, I might know how you use that weapon. Um, hey, hey, Race, are you listening? Hey. <laughs> so it would, you know, stuff like that. But the, no, the, the everything else as far as, I think stuff that would be happening in the writers' room or whatever. I mean, I think has been incredible. Yeah. I mean, it really has been. And 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 for me, I'm just, I'm just so bloody grateful that it exists. Yeah. Right. And it's bringing people in who who wouldn't otherwise read the books. Um, you know, I mean, like I'm like, read the books now, but but they wouldn't even have that chance without the story, the the story on the TV. So no. yeah, it definitely gives us a wider audience, which is really yeah. great to see. After, I mean, I've been in the fandom for 18 years, so it's nice to see so many faces that I'm like, oh, you, you came to the show? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's I great. have stuff to talk about now. It's You'll great. listen. <laughs> great. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's not. There shouldn't be any sort of divide. There's no like. No. You know, I'm better because I read the books. Come on, man, give it up. Like, yeah, we're a pretty decent fan. Yeah. We're gonna stay that way, right? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, when I'm when I'm watching the show, I'm like, I do have my. I've been reading this series for 20 years. That's not how that happened. <laughs> That's not how that. I, I. And then the second time I watch it, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. And some of those things. I mean, look, the whole episode with Stefan and stuff like that it was like, my God, like amazing, right? It's, it's not in the books. It should have been. It's so good. Like it's so good. So yeah. Yeah, I will say that the land and Nynaeve romance. Um, it was okay. Well, I'm sorry. I have differing opinions. I think it was done better in season one than it was in book one. So because I'm not saying ro 
Robert Jordan doesn't write romance well, I am saying that I do have an entire panel on that tomorrow. Um, Good plug, my friend. Good plug. Good plug. Um, do you, are there any particular moments for the books that you're looking forward to seeing adapted on the screen? Do my as well. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which That's is another one. That intro would be twice as long if I uh, wrote it today. There's, there's more, there's more stuff that I wasn't ready to put in. One of my favorite, going back to origins, one of my favorite things, um, that I wasn't expecting was learning about like the etymology. Um, many of them come from Arthurian myth or a reference in the white goddess. Others are the brand name of a stove. Yep. Um, what was that like? Because I had to put the book down. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> there is, wow. Um, I mean, I know writers are inspired by everything around yeah. them. Sometimes it's like you have... Glad, who is a, was it, Gawain and Mordred? That was fantastic. And then it's the Jen Stove. Jen Air Stove. Jen yeah, Air Stove. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it, <laughs> I love it. I, 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 do, I, I do. It's just like, I, I don't feel bad, you know, because, yeah, as writers, we do this. And I've done that. Like, oh, this, like, really worked out cool thing, you know, and, and, you know, this mythology thing. I got five different things working together for this thing in Shards. And then I'll be like, and I couldn't think of a name. And that's the dude I ran into on the street. Like, like that, that does happen. And so like, it was like, oh, cool. He did it too. Right. You know, it, to me, it felt very humanizing it, it and was. good. Yeah. So, because I was, I love seeing his notes where he's just like, find out a name of Sakhan's lieutenants in all caps. Yeah. It's just placeholders stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. So this, this is how you're writing it. That's awesome. Yeah, his his ran, his rambles, as he called them, uh, were were so much fun to read. And I put a couple of them in there to try and give everybody a, a, a feel for what that's like. Uh, but there's all, there's lots of them uh, where he is like he's come these things that we think of as like you know cre creator inspired world. You can see the process of him like oh, and then you see like the light go off, and he's like oh, 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 oh. that's what it is, right? And writes it down. It's so cool. But yeah, sometimes it's a stove. Uh, you have talked a little bit about how uh, you've learned a little bit more since you published the book. Do you know why Rand is called Rand? Because uh, Reese, I think, is the one that... Yeah, it was Rosen Reese. Yeah, Reese it, was Reese, it was Rosen Reese. I got the sense that uh, you were a little frustrated that you couldn't figure out why Rand was named oh, Rand. Oh, my God. So frustrated. I was so... I, I mean, I spent... I, I'm not... I wouldn't lie to y'all. Yeah, Maria's uh, not here. <laughs> there, was, there were sleepless nights. Like, I just lay in there, like, going through the encyclopedia in my mind. Like, anything. What? How? What? You know, and, and the more information I got, the worse it got. Because you, you get these other tantalizing clues, right? The, the, this In the, uh, uh, the unpublished Western that he wrote, he uses basically the same name. Like, okay... Does that help? No, that makes it worse. Like that, <laughs> like it's just like that. Now it's now my brain breaks even more. Uh, no, it, it, that was that was I think probably the most frustrating thing in the entire process was never being able to close that loop, and knowing and knowing that I couldn't close it for you, um, right? Because I viewed so much of this as like a sort of I'm giving being given this opportunity on behalf of of, of you all, and like you know don't screw this up, Livingston. Like for God's sake, whatever you do, don't screw it. And that led to a lot of sleepless nights as well. Uh, but then, like, facing that, I'm like, I think I'm screwing it up. Like, because I can't pick out. <laughs> They're going to hate me. Uh, that was rough. And I can, I could not close out you today. That's okay. Don't. You did not disappoint us. I'm still, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. But you did not disappoint. It's okay. I don't know. Him. Yeah. Althor is just Randall. I mean, I know who he is. I don't need. Right, you just don't know where Rand came from. <laughs> right. 